table. Last time I'm gonna sit here in these chairs at my table. I remember being so excited about it when I got it. Hello guys, welcome to the vlog. Starting off strong with the soup dumplings. It's gonna be a great day. A great day despite how gray it is out there. Look what the heck is going on, LA? What the heck? But today, the first piece of furniture is going, which is really weird. We're gonna enjoy our last little lunch here. Gotta get myself ready and do my makeup right after I'm done eating. I have one hour till the table's getting picked up and then Jill and I have a whole ton of things happening today. And I don't know what to wear because there's so many different things, but I'll tell you about everything after I eat. I gotta enjoy my soup dumplings. Mmm. Delicious. So today is actually gonna be what I'm calling the nostalgia tour. If you weren't around when I first moved to LA, I lived in downtown for most of my time here, honestly. I had gone to school downtown, so I was living around there. And then I didn't leave downtown until I moved into my house. Jill was living in Hollywood, but I convinced her to move to downtown. And when she did, we had the best time, like the best time. So today we're actually gonna go to all of our old favorite spots that are still around. Some are not, which is sad. It is gonna be busy. Like, we have a ton of stops planned. I'm just so excited to relive those memories. Most of these spots we would go for drinks <laughs> or food. So I think we're gonna do like one drink at each spot just to like hit them all. I personally love a day drinking vibe. That's actually my preference over a night of drinking just cause I get to go home and like be cozy on the couch at a decent hour. And then I wake up and I'm almost never hungover after day drinking. It's gonna be such a good day. And then actually we're going to Hollywood as well. We rarely go to Hollywood anymore because it's just kind of far. And there's never like a real reason to venture over there but we have a full ass itinerary for the day and places we're going to the itinerary is just in place you know for us to hit the spots we really want to but we could be spontaneous who knows where this day is gonna go but i'm so excited for this day we've been talking about it for weeks now it's gonna be really fun and like a good send off to you know my younger self living here and moving on so jill's gonna come here first so that she can be here for when the table gets picked up just so i'm not alone i'm not sketched out by the people getting the table you just never be too safe i don't think that downtown hits the same way as it did when i went to school here when i was in my early 20s it was way different i think i mean i don't know i don't go there very often so who's to say but whenever i mentioned living in downtown everyone's like oh are you okay? <laughs> it definitely was hit very hard in 2020. And it's another spot that we don't go to very often anymore just because it's really far. Honestly, it's not that far when you look at the map, but getting anywhere in LA, like you have to stick to one area. It's really hard to do many different areas around the city in one day, especially past a certain time. Traffic will just like destroy you. So I think we've planned this out well enough where we're not gonna be in the car for an hour, hour and a half. But with such a full day like this, I don't know what to wear. We have kind of like a nicer dinner, but I don't, I don't know. I have to find an in-between of like daytime outfits that also works for nighttime. I don't really have a lot of stuff. So I have to see what I can make work with my jeans because that's the only pant that I have here. And if those don't work, Jill said I can borrow a pair of her pants. But I'm gonna see what I can do with the jeans and like find a nice top, some kind of balance. Okay, makeup's good. We're gonna do some curls and then I gotta find an outfit. But I'm making good time right now. I spent the whole morning editing yesterday's vlog. Managed to even squeeze in half an hour of reading. And by the time I'm ready, I should have 15 minutes until they get here. Look at me go. <laughs> 10 minutes left with the table. I gotta get the expanding piece that goes with the table, but it's in there. And it's, it's kind of deep in there too. So we gotta get that out. Success. Looks good, looks good. I gotta clear off the table. This is cra crazy. Oh man, I can't believe this is happening. Okay. And then I'm just gonna do a quick little wipe down. All right, last looks. Goodbye table. Oh, you were lovely, nice having you. All right, updates. Jilly's here. Hello. Table's gone. That's so crazy. That is like, this is so weird to look at. It's just emptiness. We could have a full on dance party. <laughs> Anyways, we just called the Uber to downtown. We're starting at Grand Central Market. Oh yeah. We used to love, honestly, okay, do you remember our favorite place? Ramen Hood. Yes, of okay. <laughs> um, I gotta show you guys all the spots we love. I know, it's gonna be so sad. It's such a, a weird day. Goodbye, because like, when are we gonna go downtown? I know, yeah. We never, never. This is a good excuse to go. It is. But otherwise, there's no real purpose. I know. So I'm so excited to hit all our spots though. It's gonna be fun. Too. It's gonna be so fun. Nostalgia day. Yeah, nostalgia. Hello. I guess I'll be on my way now. Oh 
my god, it's been so long since we've been here. I almost wish we had lunch here, but too many stops. Yeah, too many stops. It's so weird to be back in here. It feels like a different lifetime ago. Seriously. Like, we have been here years. At least well, I haven't even looked at anything here. We're walking to ramen. So many good spots in here, though. This looks delicious. Oh. <laughs> Yum. Yummy. And it's just so cute. Thank you. Okay, Jill, I'm a little... Oh no, okay. Wait, where? Right here, oh, right thank God. <laughs> oh, an egg slot. I forgot about egg slot. Ramen hut. 100% vegan ramen and it's amazing. It's oh, so good. I wish we could, I wish we could have ordered it. Ramen hut. It was so good. It was everything I could ever want. I know. But they don't have it on Postmates or anything. A good spot if you like eggs. They're closing up, but. Wow. So crazy. Okay, so over here's Macaroni Republic, which I've been to one time, and I'm just, I wish we could have everything. I wish I we could know, get ramen there's right time now. time to do it all. There's too many things to eat, too many things to drink. It's a food and wine tour, honestly, today. It is. That's yeah. essentially what we're doing, and I wish we could get everything, but we can only have so much. <laughs> exactly. So, it's fine, but we're gonna walk to walk another old classic that everyone was obsessed with when Instagram was like very cool. Yes. Not as That's cool so true. now, I don't think. It's funny, I didn't read books at all when I liked this place. <laughs> But the and last now? bookstore. I am so excited. I know. They have not changed this display since the last time I was here. Like, this has been like this, I think, for 10 years. <laughs> also, it's incredibly busy in here, which I did not anticipate for some reason. But there's one thing I need to see. It's like this scary danger room. Oh, I think it's in here. Oh, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. In the next one. I had to. A classic photo spot. Oh yeah. Book tunnel. I'm sure you don't know what the book is before you buy it. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that before. I guess I don't really go into bookstores yeah. very often. No. No. Also, I think they got rid of like the famous Instagram book hole where people would take pictures in front of. Why are they doing that? I don't oh. know. It's a great thing. Mm -hmm. I know. Through oh. the book arch. Wow. <laughs> so sad about the hole. I know. I can't believe it. Very disappointing. It seems like a weird choice. Very weird choice. Anyways, it was nice to see. Glad we came, looked, ready to go. We got Clifton's over here, have not been in forever. But it was one of our favorite bars. It's got like three different floors. Every floor is a different vibe. Oh, it's awesome. It was the coolest bar. It really was. There's a big tree in the middle of it. Like it is so sick. 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 Big shout out to Urban Outfitters. Yeah. We used to go to this all the time. All the time. Like it's, I forgot about it, honestly. Now there's an Apple store next to it. Look at that. But the urban. Okay, first real stop, Ace Ooh, Hotel. So Me too. Yum. Got our drinks. Juice. Ah, we got our cute little table. Downtown. Downtown. <laughs> and we're out. Quick in and out at Ace Hotel. Off to our next spot. This is a real throwback for those of you that have watched for a while. Oh man, it's bringing me back. This is where, oh wait, the sign is still there. Oh, yeah. The Lloyd sign. Well, nothing that's good in there, I guess. I guess not. This is my old apartment building. In the downtown days, this is our favorite coffee shop, which has been empty for years. It really brings me back. I remember wearing the unit I moved into. I remember walking down the street. Yeah. Bringing shit, like bringing oh, shit yes. over. Oh my God, me too. Right? I totally You're remember. You're just walking that. with all your shit. Yes. From my first building to the second building. Anyways, we're walking to, um, my old school. It's so weird. Oh Your my unit, god, right? birdies! Right oh my god, yeah, birdies. Yeah, my unit. Oh my god, there's so much happening. Right I know. Walking time, bro. That's what I'm This was the best fried chicken of all time. It's so, so good. So good. Like, insane with the spicy sauce it had. Amazing. Insanity. My unit was up here. Wait, ha <laughs> ha Then we would drop the keys. Oh, yeah. We threw up the keys here and we heard like a fit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I lived up there. Aw. Oh, they have boxes. Looks yeah. like they're moving out. Weird to see that, actually. Yeah, it almost feels like I'm in a parallel universe. Where Seriously. That's me packing up that apartment myself. Weird. Weird. Okay, so this was my first apartment in LA. And this was Yoji's. If you know, you know. It was our spot. Yep. So, my unit was right there. That one. It was my little studio. And I had a guy once climb climb this gate to get up into my unit and then at like three in the morning he's tapping on my door and expects to sleep over That's so scary like a psychopath yeah. i mean he was wow. crazy he was crazy wait this is where we first <laughs> right here i was standing right here no actually i remember i went here oh, yes, yes. oh. 
Anyways, and Jill was on the other side and I was like, hey, stranger. And we went up to my unit, which was right around the corner here. This is the lobby. My unit, like first solo place that I ever had by myself. This is crazy. This is all kind of surreal. I've never been alone like this. I've never had my own place that's actually mine. I don't know how to handle it. It was right up here and it was like the first unit in. And actually, <laughs> one time, when Jill and I first became friends, yeah. it was like maybe third or fourth time hanging out. Yeah. She invited me to come to her friend's Halloween party. Halloween party. I got very drunk. Like, disgusting. Well, it was weird because Tara did not drink that much. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I feel like the alcohol just hit in a weird way. You yeah. Know? There was something weird yes. happening the night. Either way, I had to evacuate. <laughs> and Jill brought me home and she took me up all the stairs. I don't know how the fuck. Um, with a garbage bag. Yep. Well, we made it happen. She got home. Yep. Good time. <laughs> so many memories here. And then right, right there is my school. So I literally would wake up here and walk over here. Oh my gosh. Oh, crazy. Just went on a tour of the apartment building, which is right there. How nice is that? I'm just, it's so nice. So right there is the apartment, and then right there is my school. So we go look around. Yeah, let's do it. Mm, this is where my LA journey began. I know, so crazy. So weird to look at. I remember doing like photography class out in the gardens over here and sitting at lunch. Yeah, here is so nice. Right, it's beautiful. I remember touring it for the first time thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna go to school here in California. <laughs> thinking like this is beyond me, Yeah, beyond. This is insane. This does not even compare to my old school. I mean, just, just take it in. And then moving here and thinking, I get to go to school and it was beautiful every day. <laughs> so weird. Uh, how times have changed. <laughs> I know, so sad. This was my school. Well, wow. almost 10 years ago. I know. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's, weird. that's fucked up. The amount of times I've walked this path, going to the Starbucks, like oh in the middle my of class. God, the Starbucks. And, and getting... you would always have a clip of you putting the straw in. Always, it was my go-to thing. Yep. And it was always a matcha with like a million pumps of vanilla. I don't even remember now, but. Always to the gate and then down the street. Oh, and then there was the Ralphs where I always got, oh yeah. my God, wait. I have come a long way with the foods that I eat because I remember when I first lived here, all I yep. ate was a tub of um, cheesy broccoli and then cheesy spinach. Yep. It's all I ate. Always. I always had it in the fridge and I just ate it with a fork out of the container. <laughs> that was all, that was it. I've come a long way in my years and I'm proud of myself. <laughs> the next stop, we're actually gonna go to Golden Gopher, an old classic. A couple of mules will go. I feel like it's so cute back here in this little I know, alley. so there's like, a little alley out here. Oh, it's really bright. Little alley. But I will say this is not a daytime bar. No. Don't come here during the day. Because it's, it's, it's giving an energy. But this is just a, a quick pop in until Absolutely. our next spot, which is way more exciting. Oh, I'm so excited for our next spot. We're getting cute. Oh, of course. One of our most iconic spots, honestly. Yes, I agree. Cheers. There's one memory I have of um that's so good, right? I love you. Yeah. Of us playing yeah. pool and then some guy came and played yeah. with us that and then put cool. drugs on the table. Literally. <laughs> drugs. On our way to the next spot, the best spot, we're taking a detour just to look and glance at one of our all-time favorite drunk food spots. Yes. LA Cafe. <laughs> this uh. was the ultimate grilled cheese spot. Coming here at two in the morning is like unmatched peak. It's peak. So good. Yeah. Oh, I remember it was so busy in there. I know. Um, it's not looking super promising. Wait, did they move locations? No, no, no. Um, Wednesday to Saturday, 6 p.m. to 12 a.m. See, we have an hour. No. I know. So this is Mignon. We've been here many times. It's a wine and cheese bar. Well, do we go to another bar? Yeah, we have to. Oh, all right. Tip this looks first. amazing. So we're here at Perch, which we've been to like maybe twice ever. Yeah. But it has a monumental moment for us where <laughs> Jill told me that she had booked a movie and I will never forget it. I will never forget how it felt like here and now we're so celebrating crazy. it. And we were up on the surf and it's a great view of downtown. So we're here for one drink. We have a strawberry mule. Cheers. It's very good actually. So cheers to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Yeah, bro. Yes. Time has come. Mignon. Oh my god. Yeah, a classic. I remember having escargot for the first time here. 
Oh, Where's the Johnny table outfit, with Johnny? Right? Yeah. This place holds so many memories for us. Like, like so it. many. We came here with Brian all the time. Yeah. This feels like an us and Brian spot. Oh, right. Right. I mean, it's a mignon. I remember vividly Brian having this. He was like, this is the best cheese. Yeah. It was it butter. butter. <laughs> it was butter. I forgot about that. He was like, wow, this cheese is amazing. <laughs> I brought a date here. I actually sat at this table with him. Oh, that's so crazy. Um, his name is Connor. Oh my god. Remember that one? Yes, yeah. I do. Good times. We came here so often. All the time. Our this is our spot like multiple times a week. Like at least once a week. At least once a week. Look at that. Ooh. We have a truffle cheese. What did she say about that one? I can't remember, but this is a pecorino. Yes. And that looks kind of brie-like. Yeah. Butter, fig jam, walnuts, figs, and almonds. Looks amazing. And the happier red. <laughs> Best day. Best day. I just remember something really funny. We're sitting here one time. A guy over there drew me on a cardboard box, but it was so funny. Thank you. <laughs> Have to do towel. Wow, cute. Look at the vibe we have. Good, how are you? Yeah, got your shishito peppers right here. Oh, wow. Did it be on miso mustard on the side? Thank you. Shishito, tempura avocado. And espresso martinis. We got the best table on the house. Yes, we truly did. We're on like the stairs, which I've never sat here, but I always thought it was very cool. Yes, same. We get to watch everyone. The whole restaurant. It is so cool. We're on the streets of Hollywood. We have to go boxes as well as fortune cookies. We have one more sub of the night, but we have to open this first. Ready? No! Okay. Like what? Ready? All the world may not love a lover, but they will be watching you. In bed. <laughs> a billionaire's joke is always funny. Is that what you got? That's what mine says. In the morning, I swear that somebody will be. Hi, life. <laughs> Smoke weed every day. Okay, we found me. We also found Jill, and there's Jessica, Jill's alter ego, in between Jesus. I mean, I don't know what else you need to know. We decided it's only right to go to the Chinese theater. Pretty theater. <gasps> oh, no. say Brittany. It. <laughs> it's fun to be a tourist. It really is. Chinese theater. All the stars. Donald Duck. <laughs> During the day, when you can actually walk through here, is so fun. See all the celebrities. I'm so sad that we can. Oh, I know. I have a vivid memory of going to a movie premiere here, actually. And it was so. I walked. I walked the carpet too. It was like my first time ever doing that. But it was awesome. It was like a black carpet right in front of the theater, which was like iconic. I was so nervous too. I was so stressed. I know. It's always so scary. So scary. Brings me back. So many days here. Also, this is like a functioning movie theater. Jill and I actually watched The Maze Runner here, and we had to pee so bad in the middle of the movie that we ran through the theater trying to find the bathroom and get back before we missed anything. Who knows what we missed? I know, we never watched it again, so who's to say? Okay, across the street is the Roosevelt Hotel, very famous. I will never forget getting to go up to the rooftop and watch John Legend. It was like a very private performance, but it was the coolest thing I ever did. It was so sick. It's a couple days later now. I actually just finished editing this vlog and looking at all that old footage and just getting to relive so many of these memories with Jill the other day was seriously such a highlight of this trip. Honestly, it just made me feel so grateful for the fact that this is what I do. Whether or not this was my job, I'm so glad I decided to one day start vlogging my life because now I have all of these memories of my life here that I can look back on whenever I miss it. I can't even tell you how many hours it took me to find all that footage. And just like watching some of the vlogs back, it's just so nostalgic to me to relive these memories. But I think the craziest part is that for the last few years of me living in Toronto, I've held on to my life in LA. Like I've held on to it, wanted to keep it. Got this apartment, like I couldn't part with it because of the past that I had here. But no matter what, I will never be able to go back to 2018 or 2019 or 2015, all these peak 
times in my life that I can look back on and have such strong feelings for and like miss, genuinely miss those times. You can never go back into them. Like that is what the past is. It's easy to miss times from your past, but like you can never go back. You can't go back. I will never be in my early 20s again. And obviously that's inevitable, but it's easy to hold on to certain moments of your life. But at the end of the day, I'm grateful to not be in my early 20s. I'm grateful for where I am right now. I'm grateful for my growth and for who I am as a human being now. Things that I've done in my life, the things that I can look back on. But the past can definitely hold you to a certain expectation. Like I have wanted to keep this life thinking that like it's it's the same as what it was, but it never will be. I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense at all, but I just feel immense gratitude for the fact that I can look back at all this and like relive it. You know, I was watching so many videos that just put like the biggest smile on my face getting to watch back and remember. And it just brings really good memories that I'm happy I can look back at. All in all, this day with Jill was perfect. It was such a fun day for us. I'm so glad we did it. I'm glad we got to hit all the spots. It felt like a good, a good goodbye. I will be back and I can visit these places again and I will, but nice to do on this week where we're like really closing it up and then it's just gonna be different next time. But no matter what, it was gonna be different. Every time I come here, it's different, but it just like brings me back to the last time I was here. It's such a weird thing for me and I'm looking forward to the future and I'm looking forward to having more memories in Toronto that I can look back on one day and feel nostalgic for. It's weird, life will always keep moving. <laughs> Everything you're doing now, you will likely look back on one day and miss. So it's important to be present and enjoy the moment because the moments are fleeting. And one day you look back and there's all of these years of life. Anyways, I just wanted to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching it. Thank you for coming along this ride. I've seen so many comments saying that you've been here from the beginning since the Fitum days and it is beyond me. We've all grown up together and I just thank you for being here and thank you for coming along on this journey. It's been a wild ride and it will continue to be one as life goes. But I love you so much. Thank you again for watching and I will see you tomorrow with the next vlog. Bye.